Hi there, everybody. You may know the Cincinnati Zoo is renowned for our care of insects. Our Insectarium, or World of the Insect exhibit behind us, was the very first major insect exhibit anywhere in North America. I'm here with Mandy Pritchard, who's the team leader on our insect team. And we don't just have these inside, we have all our pollinators all around the grounds, which is a great way for people to get involved with conservation locally. In fact, coming up, we're having a monarch festival. That's right, yeah, we so are. Tell us what you're doing. So I have a uh, wild captured monarch oh, butterfly on. here, this in fact. This is the time of year they're migrating. Yeah. yeah, so we are in front of our pollinator garden out yeah. in front of the insectarium. And oh, adult- I see milkweed, they love milkweed. They sure yeah. do. So adult monarchs will fly to all sorts of flowers, right? But their caterpillars certainly need that milkweed okay. in order to eat. It's yeah. literally the only thing that the caterpillars will eat. So what I'm doing here though, is I have a tag from Monarch Watch, and I'm gonna place it on this butterfly on this wow. butterfly's journey to Mexico. And this helps scientists keep track of which butterflies are coming from where and how many are surviving that really long journey. So first I'm going to so open up- it's like up. bird banding. Yeah, it's okay. a lot like bird yeah. banding. So I'm gonna open up the wings here and check if it is a male or a female. I'm gonna do that very gently. Yeah. And so this is a male, okay. and it's probably very hard to see on yeah. camera. But a little spot on its hind wing. Yeah. There's a spot yeah, yeah. on the hind wing, right? There you go. So that secretes pheromones, and the females lack those. So I will record on a data sheet later that this was a male. And I'm going to place this tag right here on a very particular cell. It's that mitten-shaped uh, cell called the that. discoid cell. Very gently. Huh. And I'm going to press it on there. That is fantastic. And we are going to let this gentleman fly off as he sees fit. Now, Mandy, normally we don't let our animals get loose at the zoo, but this is a wild monarch. Yes, it is. And it's an exciting time, an exciting time of year. There you can see it's a male. He's getting warmed up. And so while we're doing that, I'll mention a few things about the festival. It's carrying on here from the end of September until uh, October 2nd. Much of it's virtual, so look at the zoo's website so you can see day by day the ways you can participate. And then there's an in-person celebration here at the zoo on October 2nd. So. It's monarch time here in the tri-state, and here at the zoo we do a great thing with it. We want to thank our sponsor, Always Simple Truth from Kroger. They're great to work with. That's a great brand, and they've been nice to support our zoo and our pollinator program for a long time. So we thank those friends. Look at the zoo's website. You can see all of the activities you can do, and how helping pollinators is easy to do literally in your backyard. So It sure is. Yeah, Mandy, thanks. Thank you so much. He flew away. He did. Yeah. He's on his way. <laughs> Also, if you want to check out uh, pollinating, or I'm sorry, your pollinator plants at home, if you've got your own garden, you can register your garden with the zoo with our pollination program. Um, and you can even purchase a little sign to put in your garden. It's great fun. And just remember to plant lots of native milkweed.